Are you interested in watching some awesome 70s car chases performed solely with exceptional driving skills without any computer-generated graphics? These daredevil drivers risked everything to achieve astonishing stunts using their cars. If this sounds appealing, we have an exciting video featuring the top 10 thrilling car chase movies of the 1970s. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exhilarating content like this. Number 10. McHugh a gripping film from 1974, McHugh captures one of John Wayne's last captivating performances. The story follows the fearless police detective as he sets his sights on purging corruption within Seattle's police department, all while accompanied by none other than his loyal and strikingly rare Brewster Green 1973 Firebird Trans Am Super Duty, famously known as the legendary Green Hornet. But it isn't just its intriguing storyline that makes this movie stand out amongst countless others. Hollywood made history with her daring cannon-assisted rollover car stunt. During rehearsals, due to an overwhelming surplus of explosive charges for propulsion handled by renowned stuntman Hal Needham, who despite being launched high into mid-air aboard Hell's driving vehicle suffered severe injuries including broken ribs and back. However, true mastery lies not only in executing daring spectacles, but also in rising above difficulties, which was showcased brilliantly when another individual stepped up at short notice, bringing everything together triumphantly towards the end. Number 9. White Lightning And number 9 is a movie called White Lightning from 1973. It's about Burt Reynolds' character Gator McCluskey trying to find the person who killed his brother while he and others compete in making illegal alcohol. There are exciting scenes where they drive cars fast and are helped by an expert named Hal Needham. They purposely destroyed almost 60 cars just for the sake of filming cool-looking moments. To get away from people chasing him down, Gator has a special car, a customized Ford Galaxy, that lets him hide and blend in with other moonshiners on their way secretly delivering whiskey without getting caught by authorities who are always watching carefully. This film was supposed to be directed by Steven Spielberg at first, but he left during pre-production so someone else took over directing duties instead because he wanted to make another famous thriller movie called Sugarland Express. Number 8. Gone in 60 Seconds In 1974, Gone in 60 Seconds was released to theaters as an epic thriller that still holds up today. The movie highlights an incredible 40-minute car chase scene, which happens to be one of the longest ever seen throughout cinema history. It centers around a group of determined thieves who intend to obtain $400,000 by stealing at least 48 cars within five days for a mysterious overseas buyer. It's a classic tale showcasing how greed can overshadow moral considerations when trying to achieve goals. The production wasn't without its challenges though. 127 vehicles were damaged during filming due to high acceleration stunts featuring tire burning and gravity defining maneuvers that heightened audience excitement levels even further still. Interestingly, many unsuspecting spectators who happened to be present during these scenes were recruited as extras, seamlessly blending their involuntary participation into the film and adding an authentic touch. What makes this feature even more remarkable is its comparatively low budget. Producer H.B. Hellick took on multiple roles, including directing, writing, and acting, resulting in reduced costs associated with hiring multiple staff members. This unique approach offered viewers something truly distinct and unfiltered setting the movie apart from others in its own special way. Number 7. Duel Duel is a 1971 movie that many people enjoy tremendously. The storyline follows Dennis Weaver, who portrays a salesman traveling through the desert for work purposes. He encounters an old truck along his journey which becomes quite intimidating and won't stop following him relentlessly, thus creating scary scenarios. This exhilarating plot keeps audiences engaged until it reaches its climax. In this movie, you get to see cool car stunts and exciting crashes. The main character drives a red Plymouth Valiant through the desert while being chased by an angry truck. The chase ends with a truck falling off a cliff. They did it all in one shot because they didn't have many cars or enough money to make more scenes. Duel was originally planned to be a TV movie, but additional scenes were added and it became a feature-length film. Steven Spielberg directed this movie as one of his early works, showcasing his talent for making movies using traditional methods. It is quite impressive. Number 6. Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, which was released in 1974, earns its place at number 6 on this list due to an iconic extended car chase. The film stars Peter Fonda, Adam Rourke, and Susan George as three aspiring race car drivers who, unable to afford the funds required to build their own race car for their pursuit of racing in NASCAR, make the decision to rob a grocery store. 
As soon as they flee with stolen goods, police officers start pursuing them, turning it into anything but a smooth ride. The central theme of the film revolves around thrilling car chases. The pivotal characters navigate through classic muscle cars such as a flashy yellow 1969 Dodge Charger RT while trying to evade pursuing police vehicles and helicopters in pursuit of their objective. It's an incredibly exhilarating experience. The movie has an unexpected conclusion, which we won't spoil. The director chose a soundtrack that only plays at the beginning and end to avoid other musical scores created for it. He aimed to evoke excitement in audiences by using race car sounds instead of relying on music alone. This gripping film tells the story of individuals pursuing their aspirations while driving recklessly fast. Number 5. Vanishing Point The 1971 film Vanishing Point follows the character portrayed by Barry Newman, a car delivery driver who breaks the law to pursue a white 1970 Dodge Challenger RT with an impressive engine. His mission is to travel from Denver to San Francisco in less than two days, disregarding speed limits along the way. Throughout the story, various authorities based in the American Southwest attempt to stop him, resulting in epic car chase scenes. All five Alpine White Dodge Challengers used during filming were provided by Chrysler Corporations but were destroyed following production, as per protocol. Hollywood stunt driving legend Carrie Lofton selected this particular model due to its superior suspension system handling capabilities and ample horsepower, surpassing other options available at that time. Despite having previously performed similar stunts in movies like Bullet or The French Connection, she challenged herself once again as she worked prominently with these vehicles. Overall, Vanishing Point offers suspenseful viewing moments, sprinkle amidst highly engaging content, making it a worthwhile watch even for passionate car aficionados. Number 4. The Driver Ranked at number 4 on our list is The Driver, a gripping 1978 film starring Ryan O'Neill as an exceptional getaway driver hunted down by the determined detective Bruce Dern. The movie captivates viewers with its realistic and thrilling car chase scenes, boasting authentic sounds and visuals without relying on computer-generated effects. Prominent vehicles like the 74 Chevrolet C10 step-side pickup trucks and Ford Galaxy cars, equipped with powerful V8 engines, take center stage while rare Mercedes-Benz models are proudly displayed in museums worldwide. The driver has earned widespread acclaim for its creative direction, iconic vehicles, and unforgettable moments captured through impeccable cinematography, solidifying its position among cinema's greatest works, and standing the test of time as audiences continue to discover this masterpiece anew each passing year. A crucial contribution to the enduring influence of this iconic film is Walter Hill's remarkable musical score. Number 3. Smokey and the Bandit our list's third spot is reserved for Smokey and the Bandit, a 1977 film that stands out as an iconic car chase comedy of its time. Directed by Hal Needham and starring Burt Reynolds, it boasts an impressive cast including Sally Field, Jerry Reed, and Jackie Gleason, who add comedic charm to the thrilling pursuit scenes. The plot revolves around Bandit, played by Reynolds, and his partner Snowman illegally transporting Coors beer from Texarkana to Atlanta with Sheriff Buffer T. Justice in hot pursuit. Smokey and the Bandit has become synonymous with Pontiac Trans Am cars adorning CB radios, evoking the nostalgia of this era. Their generous donation during filming proved timely since they saw improved sales following its presentation, preserving them at peak relevance even today. Number 2. The Seven Ups Securing a noteworthy second position is the 1973 film The Seven Ups, directed by the same individual behind The French Connection and Bullet. With these credentials, audiences can expect an exceptional car chase spectacle filled with thrilling, tire-squealing action. Leading the film is Roy Scheider, known for his later fame in Jaws, as he portrays a plainclothes police officer heading up a group called the Seven Ups. This team employs controversial methods to capture offenders, ensuring a minimum prison sentence of seven years. A standout moment in the film is an epic chase scene through the bustling streets of Manhattan's Upper West Side. The scene features Scheider's 1973 Pontiac Ventura Sprint pitted against a 1973 Pontiac Granville, resulting in collateral damage to newspaper and fruit stands during filming. This thrilling 10.5 minute pursuit showcases the impressive maneuverability skills of both cars, culminating in a grand finale where a rear end collision with a truck causes violent destruction to Scheider's prized vehicle, giving it an imagined convertible appearance. Number 1. The French Connection Behold the grand arrival of an iconic spectacle that demands center stage, The French Connection of 1971. This movie, the recipient of numerous Academy Awards, is renowned for its unforgettable car chase sequence, which stands as one of cinema's most notable moments in history. 
Gene Hackman delivers a brilliant performance in the lead role as Popeye Doyle, an incorruptible NYPD detective relentlessly pursuing a notorious French narcotics trafficker and his associates. What sets this scene apart is its unconventional setting, an elevated train coursing through Brooklyn's vibrant Bensonhurst neighborhood, providing viewers with an exhilarating high-speed pursuit experience unlike any other. The intensity of the chase scene was heightened by the lack of proper permits during filming. With no police traffic control in place for public safety, stunt drivers were forced to navigate through actual traffic and pedestrians under uncontrolled conditions. This led to several near collisions unintentionally captured on film but ultimately becoming integral to the final footage. This authentic approach infused a thrilling sense of palpable excitement into the sequence, solidifying it as one of cinema's most revered depictions of car chases ever created. And that wraps up our ranking of the 10 most notable car chase films from the 1970s. Sound off in the comments with your favorite movie car chases and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to support our channel.